Welcome to another episode today. You're gonna to learn how to divide polynomials in an easy way called synthetic division. Just check out these three problems right here and see which one you need help with. If you want to jump to a specific question, hit that description box below and pick whichever one you need help with. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go. Here's a guide that I made for you so you can follow along when we do this synthetic division. And also before you even start, you want to make sure that whatever your dividend is, is in order from highest exponent to lowest. So look, b squared b, and then you got your constant. The second thing you want to make sure is that your divisor, this right here, has only a degree of one. The moment you get like b squared or b to the third, you can't use this synthetic division. You're going to have to use long division in order to divide your polynomials. So let's get to it. Let's go to the first step. It says, set my divisor. So I'm gonna set that three B minus two, set it equal to zero and solve for B. Add two to both sides. You got three B equals two, divide it by three. And that number two thirds is what's going to go outside your box. It's gonna look like that, done. Number two. So the coefficients of my dividend, nine, nine, and negative 10, as long as that is in order, I can write that inside the box right here. Nine, nine, negative 10. Number three, so it's not too bad right now. Um, actually, it's not even bad at all. Number three, drop the first term. So my first term is nine. I'm going to drop that right below right here. This is where that repetitive multiply and add starts. You're going to take your divisor, two thirds, and you're going to multiply it to nine. So two thirds times nine, that equals six. Six, you're going to write right below this nine right here. We're going to write a six right there. The next step is to add. You're going to add nine plus six to get 15. And then we just repeat that same thing. I'm gonna take two thirds, multiply to 15, and write the result right here. Two thirds times 15 is 30 over three, you can do it that way too, which equals 10. I'm gonna put that right here, and this last slot is gonna be zero, which is going to represent my remainder. When you got a remainder of zero, it's pretty sweet. It just means that this is a factor of this polynomial right here. So step number five, divide your result. So I'm gonna divide this nine and 15, not the remainder though, just this nine and 15 by the first number of my divisor by three. I end up getting three and 15 over three is five. Nine B squared divided by three B is three B. So my leading term is gonna have B and this next term will just be plus five. Okay, so remember that checkpoint that I said earlier? You wanna make sure that your dividend is in order. This is my dividend, that's my divisor. And if it's not in order, then you have to rewrite it from highest exponent to lowest. We can write 42x squared plus zero x minus 33. Those are the same thing but we just need this zero X right here in order for synthetic division to work. I'm gonna take that off so it's less confusing. And the second checkpoint, that's a degree of one, so that's all good. We move on to step number one. Take seven X plus seven, set it equal to zero, and solve for X. Subtract seven, I get seven X equals negative seven, divide it by seven, and I get x equals negative one. That number is what's going to go right outside that box. So at least it's not a fraction this time. And we move on to step number two. So remember that version that I rewrote? Those are the numbers we're gonna use. We're gonna use the coefficients, 42, zero, and negative 33, and slide those right inside this box. Now we drop the first term right under here and then we take negative one times 42, easy, negative 42, zero minus 42 is what that says, and we put that result right under there. Repeat the same thing, negative one times negative 42 is a positive 42, and if I add those up, I get a positive nine. 
that's my remainder. We're in the last step, divide the result by the first digit of my divisor. The first digit of my divisor is seven, and I'm going to divide each one of these by that. Not my remainder though, don't do it to the remainder. So 42 over seven is six, negative 42 over seven is negative six. And if you don't know what variable to write on those answers, just ask yourself, what is 42x squared divided by 7x squared? That's 6x. So my leading variable is an x minus 6 with a remainder of a positive 9. And all you got to do to write your remainder properly is put that over your divisor, 7x plus 7. There is my answer. Okay, for this last question, I try to challenge you. Let's see if you can apply the same thing that we just learned in the first couple slides. And I want you to pause the video, try this question on your own. When you are ready to move on, check the answer on the next page. All right, hopefully we got matching answers. The first thing is always to make sure that this is in order from highest exponent to lowest. And as you can see, it's missing the t term, it's missing zero t. So rewrite it. That's what's gonna go inside that box. Also, you wanna make sure that this is in degree one. Solve for t, you get negative three halves, drop the six, negative three halves, times six, and then write the result right here. And you keep continuing. This one does not have a remainder, zero. And then the very last step, the very last step, whatever your result is, divide it by two. 6t to the third divided by 2t is 3t squared, and that is my leading variable right there. 3t squared minus 2t plus 3 is my answer. If this helped, like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.